Pickett here with Fig Boot on Pens, back again with another fountain pen review. Just right up top, I wanted to announce that I have a brand new project coming out very soon. Uh, within the next week, I will be making an official announcement and posting a full video about the project here on YouTube, so be on the lookout for that. Um, I am very excited about this pen and can't wait to share all the details with you. But that's not what we're going to talk about today. Uh, what we're going to discuss today is a very nice pen from Scribo called La Dota Ninfea. Uh, what I'm going to do today is go over the parts and features of this stylish pen, talk about what I care for and what I don't care for about it. I'll show some measurements, size comparisons, and provide a writing sample. Thanks go out to the good folks at Applebaum for providing this pen on loan for review. Uh, if you are not familiar with Scribo, uh, it is a company based out of Bologna, Italy. The company was founded by some former Omas employees after the original iteration of that company went out of business back around 2016. Uh, it's my understanding that Scribo purchased a number of pieces of old Omas equipment, most importantly the nib making tools, so Scribo produces their nibs in-house. Uh, Omas nibs consistently received very high praise, and as a result of using the same equipment, Scribo's nibs have also received a great deal of praise. Uh, the pen arrives in this nice box. Um, it's a unique box design that I like. It has a magnetized lid with a little leather pull here, but a little element that I like about it is that when you open the box, it expands just a little bit here, making it easier for you to reach in and take out the pouch the pen arrives in. Uh, this is a very small thing that really hardly matters in the grand scheme of things, but I like the attention to detail. That tells me that if the company really is paying close attention to the little things like this, then there's a greater likelihood that they'll be paying attention to some of the important details as well. Uh, inside we have this very nice pouch. Um, it's made from a rather firm fabric which helps it maintain its shape. Um, I took this pouch to work with me the other day and it fits very nicely in the interior breast pocket of a sports coat or a suit jacket. You unwrap this leather strap and inside we have a couple of things. Uh, there is a polishing cloth inside this leather pocket and on the other side of the pen, or the side of the, here, there are slots for two pens. And I always like it when a pen manufacturer provides you with something that can be used for more than just the pen which you purchased. And here we have the pen. This is the Scribo Ladada Ninfea. Uh, this is a limited edition of 219 units. Uh, La Dota is the name of this particular model. Uh, the name translates from Italian to mean uh, erudite or learned or educated. Uh, Scribble released uh, two versions of this model, which were inspired by the botanical gardens of Bologna, where Scribo is based. Uh, the bow in Scribo refers to the city of Bologna. Uh, this pen, the Ninfea, is inspired by water lilies. The blue-gray with lilac streaks is meant to remind us of these aquatic plants with their roots anchored to the ground of the bottom of a pond. Uh, there's another pen in this series called the uh, Campanula, which is a pearlescent and iridescent lilac. Um, on a side note, speaking of flowers, if you are ever in the Boston area, I would highly recommend a trip to the Harvard University uh, Museum of Natural History. Uh, they have something called the Ware Collection of Glass Flowers. Um, I can't even begin to describe to you how incredibly realistic these glass flowers look. It is an incredible collection. Um, if you ever have the chance to see it uh, in person, uh, or if you've seen it in the past, let me know what you feel about it in the notes below. Uh, this pen is a bit bulbous, with both the cap and the barrel having pronounced curves. Okay, let's take a look at the parts and features of this pen, beginning with the top of the cap. The finial is gold and laser engraved with a quilled feather, which is the company logo. Below that, we have a rather thick and wavy clip, which is firm yet functional and slips into materials of varying sizes. Um, as I mentioned, the cap is rather bulbous and then slopes down to a silver band. On the front, it is engraved with a company name and on the back, it says feel the writing. There is a small transition from the cap to the barrel, which again then expands out before tapering down. 
Here at the end, there is another band signifying the beginning of a piston knob, and the very end of the barrel is flat. The cap twists off with a single rotation, and underneath we have a very nice 14 karat gold nib, engraved with the company name as well as the slogan, Feel the Flex. Uh, this nib is available in a wide variety of choices. There are like 11 or 12, so I'm not just going to rattle them off here. And here's a look at the ebonite feed. Uh, the section begins with a moderate flare and then tapers up only slightly before you reach the threads and a large step up to the remainder of the barrel. While typically a step up of this height would bug me, um, it really doesn't on this pen. Uh, this is a rather long section, and I find that uh, having it this far back doesn't impede my grip or annoy me at all. Uh, the cap does not post. Well, it kind of sits on the piston knob, but it's not secure at all. But this plen pen is plenty long enough to use unposted. Um, since I mentioned the piston knob, it is safe to assume that this is a piston filler, and the mechanism works really well and is decently smooth. Uh, the Scribo Ladota uh, Ninfea is available to purchase on the Applebaum website and sells for around $600, depending on the currency, uh, the current uh, euro to dollar exchange rate. Uh, Scribo pens are very well made and perform nicely as well and have you know, a somewhat high price tag. Uh, that is consistent across the entire brand. Um, I find this pen interesting. I, I think the shape is unique. The resin is unique as well. Um, and I'm really fond of this blue-gray with the flex of that lilac resin. Uh, thanks again. Go out to Applebaum for providing this pen on loan for review. Okay, now it is time for some measurements, size comparisons, and a writing sample. So here we have some size comparisons for the Scribo, La Dota, Ninfea. I wanted to give you a closer look at that material. And I do kind of like that blue-gray with the, uh, the other colors in there. I just think that looks really interesting. And in regard to uh, some size comparisons, uh, here it is with a Platinum Azumo, which kind of be a little, can be a little bit bulbous on its own. Uh, and then here it is with a Parker Dual Fold Centennial Big Red. And then finally, well not finally, but here it is with a uh, Pilot Custom 845. And then in regard to a couple of other pens, here it is with a Mont Blanc 149 and a Pelican M1000. And then finally a Sailor King of Pen uh, Pro Gear Sky. In regard to uncapped comparisons, here it is with that uh, King of Pen Pro Gear Sky and the Mont Blanc 149, and then finally the Pilot Custom 845. Okay, here we go with the writing sample for the Scribo. And this is the La Dolta. of La Data, uh, Ninfea. And this is the, the fine flex nib. And the ink, which I thought would be appropriate for this, is Seitz Kreuznach. Dark Orchid. This is what the ink looks like. Uh, it's just kind of a nice lighter purple uh, in regard to something like the Mont Blanc's uh, Beatles Psychedelic Purple. It is not quite as dark as that or even as dark as the Pilot Orochizuku Murasaki Shikabu. Oh, now I smeared it. Uh, with the Seiss Kreuznach, I I, let me turn it sideways so it can fit in here. I, I believe that these inks are no longer made, but they came in these really cool kind of medicine bottle, uh, medicine bottles. And I really like this bottle. This is one of my favorite uh, ink bottles just because it looks so cool. And it's unfortunately that I believe these inks are no longer made. 
And then in regard to a writing sample, let's see if I can not smear this. Um, I was using very light pressure there, uh, but this is the fine flex nib, so you can get a large amount of flex out of this particular nib. Starting off very light and putting a little bit of pressure, you can see that it performs very well and the nib keeps up, or the feed keeps up fine on it. Uh, in regard to uh, ink flow, I think it keeps up just fine. It's rather generous in regard to reverse writing. It's a little scratchy, but does lay down an extra, extra fine line. And in regard to some fast writing, fast writing isn't something that's really meant to be done with a flex nib, but the feed does keep up well. So here we have the Scribo La Dota Ninfea. Um, I think this is an intriguing looking pen. I think it has some classy looks uh, and the resin is nice as well. Uh, and Scribo nibs are always outstanding. Uh, I encourage you to check this out on the Applebaum site. And like I mentioned, uh, there is a link to it in the notes below. Okay, until next time, thanks for watching and I'll talk to you later.